Hi everyone, welcome to Bodyworks Prime. Today we're going over the origin, insertion and action of the piriformis muscle. Here we can see a posterior view of the piriformis muscle. And the piriformis is connecting onto the femur here. And as it works its way up, it then passes through a gap between two ligaments. And the gap is called the greater sciatic foramen. As it passes through the gap, it then attaches onto the anterior side of the sacrum. So the anterior side would be the side that's facing away from us right now. And I'll swap to a different view in just a moment to show you that. In terms of its positioning, the piriformis is deep to the gluteus maximus muscle, meaning the gluteus maximus covers the surface of the piriformis. And it's also just inferior to the gluteus medius muscle. So it's just a bit further down than where the gluteus medius muscle is located. I've got videos on all the gluteal muscles as well, and I'll put a link in the description box to them, so take a look at them after this video as well. So now we swap to an anterior view, you can see how the piriformis is coming up here behind the hip, and then coming through that gap and connecting onto the sacrum here. And the sacrum is divided into different sections, you can see I've labelled them here, S1 all the way down to S5, and each section is determined by these holes here, so if you draw a line between them, that would divide each of these sections of the sacrum. So you'll see that the piriformis is located on S2, S3 and S4. And you can see now I've marked out the origin point here in red, and specifically that origin point is on the anterior surface of the sacrum between S2 and S4. Swapping back to a posterior view, we can see another origin point which some people will have, and that's going to be on the gluteal surface of the ilium. And this is towards the posterior and inferior iliac spine. So this would be the posterior iliac spine right here. That'd be the superior portion of the iliac spine. And then this would be the inferior portion of that. And another origin point is going to be the sacro tuberous ligament, which you can see I've just brought into view right here. And it's going to be the superior portion of this sacro tuberous ligament where the piriformis can connect onto. Swapping back to an anterior view, you can see I've marked out the insertion here in blue. That's going to be on the greater trochanter of the femur. Specifically, it's going to be on the medial side of it and the superior aspect. Medial side meaning close to the middle and the superior aspect meaning the top of it. So let's have a look at the actions next. Now the femur at the moment is in an internally or medially rotated position, depending how you want to call it. So it's rotated towards the front of the body here. And as the piriformis contracts, it can rotate this femur so that it rotates towards the posterior of the body. That would be lateral or external rotation of the femur or the hip joint. So the hip joint is externally rotating when uh, the piriformis is contracting there. Um, so that'd be our first action of the piriformis muscle. Now, another action would be abduction of the hip joint. So at the moment, the hip is abducted. As it comes inward, that would be adduction. Now this abduction of the hip joint can only occur when the hip is past 60 degrees of flexion. So where I've got the femur right now, this would be about 60 degrees. And as it comes up into this range of motion, this would be the active area where the piriformis can contribute to that abduction movement. But as it moves past that 60 degrees and comes into that straightened position, it loses its ability to contribute to abduction of the hip joint. Um, another action which it can do though is stabilizing the hip joint. So it's gonna stabilize the head of the femur here in the acetabulum. And that's gonna be another action of the piriformis muscle. So if you found this video helpful, or you've enjoyed it, you know which buttons to press, press these buttons down there, like, subscribe, let me know what you thought of the video in a comment. It really helps out the channel. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you all next time.